When your patient has an in-range knee flexion limitation limit, you can mobilize the tibiofemoral joint without a preposition with some maximal external rotation or internal rotation because a passive mechanism takes place. You can bring the patient's knee into knee flexion, apply a posterior glide to the tibia, staying off the tibial tuberosity, and then you can apply an internal rotation spin when you are at the joint stretching phase of the joint mobilization. You can also use your distal hand, take the patient's leg off the table and apply a spin from that direction as well. Perform an isometric at the end, have the patient pull in towards their bottom and relax. For the meniscofemoral joint mobilization, we'll take our patient to in-range knee flexion. It's very similar to the tibiofemoral joint mobilization, except for the orientation of our hand. We will be angled 45 degrees from the tibial plateau. I'll take my patient to in-range knee flexion, apply a posterior glide of the tibia, this time with a 45 degree angle, and also apply an internal rotation spin. posterior glide, internal rotation spin at each stretching phase of the joint mobilization. At the end, I can perform an isometric, pull your heel in, and relax. 